Welcome back guys in this uh, second video of uh, Webflow series where I am building a landing page that I have designed in Adobe XD. So in the first video I have designed this hero section and this nav bar in a Webflow. If you haven't watched that video yet so I request you to go and watch that first so you can understand better in this video. In this video, I am going to cover Flexbox and CSS Grid. So in the last video, I have covered Flexbox only. Right? How we can use Flexbox to make these new looks exactly like this in the Webflow. Here you can see I have developed a hero and a new bar in this Webflow. See, I have put it some interaction here on our event. Right, so so the next section I'm going to build is this client's logo sections. So let's get started, my friends. So so very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a section section give it a name client logos right in that section use a div and make it a container that we have given in the last video site container so guys if you want to make your own container in a web flow and don't want to use the default container the i have covered that the part in my previous video so you can go and check that video so now what what else we need so we need this uh, heading and this image here so let's do that so let's put heading let's put one image section image section right for that image i'm going to choose the these logos that i have exported right so now this logo sections make it to center everything will be in the center so the font size of let me copy and paste the content first so okay the so font size of uh, this heading is 24 pixel and the font weight is semi bold so let's do that 24 semi bold and line height is 29 so the color is this that i have added in the last video right we have so the it always is by default it puts some margins heading has margins so i will remove that so i will put my own okay so before we move ahead i want to change the background color as you can see we have a background color here so let's go and copy paste the background color so in the background section the color let's put our background color sorry my friends I have to copy paste it again it was f99 f9 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 so let's put it there let's add it in our colors so I don't know where this section came from but I will delete that I delete that section so let's put some padding just like we have here 60 so from top and bottom put some padding as 60 pixels padding 60 spacing 60 right so for that it's 38 below this not margin but putting 30 let's put it 30 so now we have our 
logo section client logo section ready so i want to put some max it 100 percent by default it's 100 percent so we don't need to worry in this see we will change this section later but for now let's stay here So I want to let's get this button out from there so it don't stays there this menu right don't put it in the middle now actually let it be there for now we will generate in our responsive action so this is done so now what we need to build is this benefits section so let's put so in this section i'm going to use css grid that you guys are waiting for i know everyone loves css grid sorry let's put it here section give it a name usp usp put a padding of 100 from top and bottom 100 so what so in that usb let's use a container give it and select the content that we have been using site container in that container i want to put a heading let's make this usb link to center right so the headings font size is 40 font weight is bold 40 bold it's already bold 49 line height and the color is this color or you can use a black pure black right so here we can use pure black no need to use that color here so now uh, let's put some coding here so I want to let's make it that gray I think that suits with this theme so, okay so now what we need is a paragraph let's take some let's set the size of this paragraph to let me see that it's max with 8 and 12 pixels so make this so it will be in the center right so now so we need to make this section now let's ungroup this first so this section so I'm going to use CSS grid to make these three column grid. So just go ahead. So what I will do is I will put a tag. Let's name it grid container. If you don't want to put that section, you can do that. But usually I. it's two by two but i want that get into that section but what i want is i don't want two rows i want three columns so i will add one column there so let's put a row gap i don't want that so i want column gap so let's put it 30 as per bootstrap standards 
so in that first grid i will put a div inside that in that div i am gonna need an image i'm gonna need a heading i'm gonna need a line border line you can say for that i will use another heading and a paragraph for the text right so this div let's make it flex box there too so it's flex vertical should be there see everything is there right so the, for this paragraph i want to make it left align so let's change the image so our first image is this right the heading i have taken some dummy content here so this is 26 this heading font size 26 it's bold and 32 line height 26 to line height and its board and is this color let's put some padding 40 from the top and 30 from the bottom 40 from the top and 30 from the bottom so is you see guys we have this so let's so for this day so what i want to do is i want to make this line so what i will do is width is 64 pixel and 2 pixel height so let's do that so the width was 64 2 to pixel height and change its background color to this green as you can see guys we have that there so we have also padding some paddings from that so let's put some margins from from top 30 this looks quite fake so i will change this Thirty, twenty, and twenty. Okay, as you can see, we have this section here. So, so now we have this section. So, what I will do is I will just simply copy and paste. this div for two times so i have copy pasted that div so now we have that div here so I just simply as you can see see it's very simple to use css grid for faster development so now we want to put some margins here So it was sixty. So let's take this put sixty. So now you just need to change the content. Replace the image with this. Replace the image. The third image is this. So. let's change some style to this paragraph the font size is 21 it's regular and 41 line height so it's let it be 16 let's say okay 
24 let's put some letter spacing 1 um, 1 yes this looks nice to me I don't think we need to put some yeah this makes sense as you can see guys so we have a section this usb section similar to our our design see the color so let's do that to let's change the text and make it 70 let's make it 80 because it is hard to see right so it is it is 80 percent so as you can see guys so we have our usb section ready so now we need to make these two sections this is uh, quite simple friends so usb section is ready so now let's move to create this awesome section i hope guys you have enjoyed this video and learned css grid and flexbox combination in webflow so in the next video i will cover these two sections so i uh, See you in the next one guys.